Hello, it is me, Jackson, and today I will show you how to make a Minecraft server that you can join on Eagle Aircraft, Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and Java Edition. So what you need to do first is to make a server. So I am using Skynode for just for this video. I don't actually use it, and it's a pretty bad free server host. If you want to learn more about free server hosts, I'll put a playlist in the description of this video made by another YouTuber. But uh, for now, I'm just going to show you using this. Now, if you want a cheap, good server host, this is not sponsored or anything, but uh, Shockbite is what I use. Even this dirt plan is pretty good. If it's just like you and a couple friends, that will work fine. If obviously, if you're a Chad and you get lots of friends and girls and stuff, you can do like one of these more expensive ones. And if you're planning on making a big server, do one of these still honestly pretty cheap for what you get but yeah i would really recommend shock bite not sponsored or anything but yeah anyway what you do is once you're in your server first what you need to do is stop it and check the description of this video because we need to install some plugins anyway in the description i got i have this google doc that anyone can view and it has links to a bunch of plugins and if you click one of these this is via version that will let you, you need to install all of these, by the way. You just uh, download now, you click it, it'll install a .jar file. And then for these, it's a Google Drive link, anyone can view it. And you just click download. I made all these, and these have uh, geyser.jar and floodgate, which let you log in on Bedrock. So I have these set up. And once you have all these downloaded, you're gonna have to go back to your server. And some servers have a good file manager just built in. So you can just go to your plugins folder, upload, and it'll work. Sky nodes is pretty bad, but they let you use FTP, which I'm doing right now. And I'm using FileZilla FTP. And what this does is it just easily lets you transfer files. They can drag things over. But what I did was I just, I made a plugins folder on my desktop and I just drag every single one over until eventually all these appear. You can just, once that's done, you can X out. For more info on the FTP, you can watch another video on that. Or if you're, if you're lucky, your server host just has a good file manager, you can just upload them easily into here. Once they're in here though, you want to start your server back up. The reason why is once you start it back up and then stop it again, it will make a folder for all of your plugins. So like right here's floodgate, there's a floodgate folder. Geyser, geyser folder, and we need that. Because now what we need to do is we need to look right here, geyser spigot. We need to go to the geyser spigot folder, click config.yml. And once you're here, what you need to do is, first you need to change the port to your server port. Find the server port, it's on your server host. It'll either be in your IP after a colon, or it'll just be separated, but you need your port. And you need to put your port in this port box, in this port box. Once you put your port in, and by the way, you need to stop your server before you do this. Anyway, you get both of these uh, port boxes you get, um, you need to change those. You need to change, uh, right here, clone remote port, changes to true. Then you need to change this to auto if it wasn't on already. And where it says off type, change to floodgate. Once this is all done, just click save content and it'll be saved. Now what you need to do is this will either be in your file manager It'll be all the way down here, server.properties, or it's just a separate tab on your server. But there's this server.properties. And what you need to do is you need to find online mode. And you can pause this as much as you like while you're doing it. You need to click change it to false and make sure you save it. So when your online mode is on false, then you should have all this done. So what you need to do now is start up your server and while you wait for it to start up, we can set up Eagle Aircraft. So to set up Eagle Aircraft, in the, in the description of this video or in the, uh, 
description, there will be a website called VIAAS. And once you're here, it will look something like this. You need to take your IP address and port of your server, paste it in here. As you can see, we get this number and we just paste it in. It'll say version right here, or V. Type in 1.8X, and then keep this at offline. And then this link, you can just copy it. And then you can go to Eagle Craft, add server, we'll name it demo. You can name it whatever you want. You paste the link in. And then what you do is you click, uh, you just click play and it might take a minute to log in but you will be playing on Eagle or Craft on a 1.19 server and to admin yourself you just go to here you type in op on summit slash op your username and then that makes you admin and then you just type in slash game mode creative and what that does is it puts you in creative mode and you can fly it's a 1.19 server it spawns 1.19 terrain we're not near any caves and cliffs but there are caves and cliffs and as you can see some blocks have to be substituted because they're not in 1.8 so like gra uh, kelp they replaced it with just sea grass that's waterlogged and if you break it it'll just break but if you if uh it works as kelp it functions as kelp it's kelp but it since there's no kelp texture in the game it just uses this but it is kelp and it works as kelp and you can craft dried kelp and smelt it and there's also 1.9 combat as you can see here but now it's time for bedrock to join on bedrock all you have to do is you click add server. Now, if you're on console, which will be Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, you do have to do an extra step and change some DNS settings, but in the end, you'll still get to an add server page. So once you're here, we'll just name it demo, like just like the Eagle Aircraft one. Now for your server address, you just go to your server, you copy it, and you paste it and for your port you do the same thing you just take your server port copy it and paste it or if you memorize it or write it down you can just type it in click save right here we got demo should say geyser down there unless you change that and if you join it'll join and we can also join on eagle craft just to show you the cross play right so we're on on Eagler, and we're also on on bedrock and combat works is 1.9 combat of course and if you switch screens it does the same thing see and you still have 1.9 combat on bedrock whether that's good or bad is up to you but uh yeah it plays now if you notice bedrock is a lot smoother on this just because it's much more optimized. We're getting like a solid 60 frames. We're on Eagle Craft. Uh, we are, but it's we're getting more than 60, but it's a it's just a bit choppy. But it does work. It's cross play. Let's see I can let's see I mine some wood on Eagle Craft. I mine some wood and I drop it to my bedrock account. We have the wood. We can craft it into planks. We can place it down. And you can see it places it down on this. We can make a, a nice crafting table. It's fully functional crossplay. Everything works pretty well on it. It's crossplay. You can play on both things. And now it's time I show you Java Edition. Next up is Java Edition. So to do Java Edition, you just need to add server and it's very similar to Bedrock. 
So what you need to do is we'll just name it demo. And you take your IP, and I'm pretty sure on Java, you need your port as well, just in a colon. Kind of like when we did the Eagler Craft thing right here. We did a colon. We need that. And you wait. And it should work. Here we are. And here we are on Eagle Aircraft. As you can see, it's working. It's much smoother. We're at almost 400 frames here. We're at like 30 there, but it does work. And technically, Eagle Aircraft is just Java Edition. It's just like a lot worse. But it does work. Crossplay works on here just like it would on anything else. The skins work as well, as you can see, for Alex, me, Steve, everything works. And you can also play on Bedrock, Java, and Eagler all at the same time, so you can have all three on at the same time. I just didn't want to have the three windows open. But yeah, they all work together. And now, I'll show you some of the weird quirks of Eagler Craft. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to, oh, I'm gonna admin myself on Java edition and spawn in some new items and see what they do in 1.8. So, as you can see, we are a server operator. And if we just type in game mode, creative, as you can see, we are in creative mode. And we can, I uh, op myself earlier on this, so we can also do the same, game mode, creative. So now that we're both in creative, we can get some weird items. Because obviously, like, all of these were in the game before, right? Like Amethyst, for an example. Look what happens when you place it down. It looks like quartz. But if we drop it, it's still Amethyst. It just has the quartz texture. And as you can see, it's titled 1.17. oak wood but if we give it to it as you can see dark oak chest boat and uh, acacia boat and it, it gets weirder because let's do a trident we'll spawn in two tridents now the way tridents normally work is you uh, hold right click or your trigger you let go and it fires sort of like a projectile. But if you're on Eagle or Craft, let's just say it's a bit more Ohio style. So what you need to do is you need to aim. So it looks like you're blocking yourself, which gives it the shield texture on that if it's a sword. But since it's a trident, you throw it and you let go. And you just have to think you're aiming, right? Yeah, it shoots an arrow. And you can kill mobs with it. Here's our bedrock thing from earlier. Just to prove that the cosplay works. Still there. But, see this pig, right? You just hold it. I hope we're aiming right. Oh. It's still a trident, and it appears as a trident on the other person's screen. There we go. That's my man. And if you go into a Caves and Cliffs cave, that goes below Y level 1. What happens is it kind of just turns into the void, which is kind of sad, but yeah. But there are substitutes for blocks, and some of them get uh, concerning. So, you can also, netherite, it's just diamond with netherite stats. But the nether, let's just say, it's closer to Ohio than the nether. I mean, Nether already was pretty Ohio, but with this, it's 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 straight up, it's straight up down in Ohio, because since 
basically none of the blocks in the new nether biomes have been in the game yet. Um, it has to make some substitutes and it chooses some in interesting blocks. So we go to the nether and we got that ugly, ugly nether texture. kind of all over the place and then there's the soul sand valley which is the uh, the dirt valley now if we go to this uh so we can just teleport because we're admin and we can just teleport to the coordinates as you can see it's a soul sand valley and it looks pretty good on this, and there's a bastion right there. And on this, we're just stuck with Dirt Valley. And Dirt Valley, it's a, Dirt Valley is a, it's not a looker. I mean, it is quite Ohio style. It's quite true to their heritage, I'll say that. Mm -hmm. We got some nice, some nice terracotta, you know, naturally found in the nether. And, you know, these are just some quirks. Just some quirks of it. Now, uh, bastions are also, and the FPS is kind of bad on 1.19. That's why on my personal server, I use 1.19. As you can see, that's uh, a good one. And bastions are kind of close. This is a bastion remedy. You can play it on basically anything from anywhere. I think that's really cool. Anyway, this is going to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Bye.